Josh, the Swan Island camera right now is so pretty. It always seems like it's pretty when it's overcast and then the colors really, you know, pop or when it's cloudy outside. Yeah, not yeah. only the flowers across the area, but also some of those trees. Yes. They're starting to turn. Oh, they look so good. Yeah, that they do. And, you know, the cloud cover just going to be staying with us for much of the day today, giving us a few light sprinkles. But there you go. The Swan Island Dahlia's camera really putting on quite the display with not only the flowers, but also some of those trees starting to transition as well as we patiently wait for the return of a winter wonderland up in elevation as the clouds are still expected to linger out towards the coast and for the I-5 quarter. After we've managed to fill up our rain gauges close to that 10th inch mark here in the city, lesser amounts the further south you go with about a quarter of an inch seen right now along the coastline as we are expecting to see another little line of storms start to push their way through our area. Some of these could potentially be some heavier downpours that are starting to march their way through the Portland Vancouver metro area. It's going to be short lived as we see a breakdown in the cloud coverage as we work our way through the rest of this afternoon. You can see our temperatures still hovering in towards the mid 60s, but after sunset, we cool things back into the 50s with the rain potential starting to increase once more. That's all due to a trough of low pressure that's sitting over much of the Pacific Northwest. It's on the move, tracking its way to the east as we prepare for yet again another ridge of high pressure to dry us out, bring back the sunshine, and all of this gets underway just in time for the weekend. So Friday and Saturday, like Likely going to be our two driest days within about the next seven day stretch. As our future cast does show the breakdown in a few of those rain showers, with the exception of the coastline places like Astoria, Seaside, Tillamook, all expecting to see some heavier downpours this afternoon. But it's during the overnight hours that we anticipate more of that wet weather for the I 5 corridor, along with heavy snowfall over the high terrain of the Cascades, all above about 4,000 feet. And then we're left with some morning patchy fog for the start of the day on Friday with a little bit more of that afternoon sunshine. Additional rain that's going to be filling up our rain gauges close to about a quarter of an inch here through the Willamette Valley, just about the same along the coastal spots. But you'll notice a lot of moisture falling over the higher elevated spots. We'll dive deeper into that here in just a moment as the thunderstorm potential. It does remain for the rest of this afternoon and through the overnight hours and the start of the day tomorrow as our snow elevation levels dip down close to 4,000 feet for Thursday. But come Friday, we start to dry things out and warm things back up just in time for the weekend but we do have a weather alert for the Mount Hood Meadows area. That is all as we prepare for a winter weather advisory that is in effect for the central Cascades. Again, 4,000 feet and above, expecting about 4 to 7 inches of snowfall as Mount Hood itself, expecting about 3 to 6 inches of the accumulative snow. So uh, sites out that direction going to look a lot different here in the coming days. As far as today goes, right here in the city, 64 degrees. We got a mix of the sun, the clouds, and a few hit and miss rain showers that will continue to push their way through our region. Tonight, a little bit more on the wet side. Temperatures falling back into the upper 40s with the winds out of the south southwest at about 3 to 6. Our seven day forecast does show that thunderstorm potential. It does ramp up during the early morning hours on Thursday. It starts to fade later in the day as we slowly start to dry things out. Then we're left with, yeah, daytime highs in the upper 50s. And then we fall to the low 40s. This could potentially be some of the coldest air we've seen since about May before we start to warm things back up again on Saturday. A little bit more of that sunshine with highs in the mid 60s. It looks so nice on Saturday. You can go see those fields on Saturday. Uh, yeah. Although they're closed. Oh, they're never closed mind. Now. Just watch our news and we'll show them and to you. And you'll see them. Yeah. yeah. There you go. <laughs> we'll be right back. Stick around.